Hey, hey, Uncle Steph here. So what is the web development demand going to be in 2023, given that you're hearing about a uh, recession coming? All these tech companies like Meta and Google and others, well, Twitter, laying off people. Is there going to be a drop in demand for competent web developers in 2023? My experience going back to 1994 as a professional developer will inform us of what's going to probably going to happen in 2023. You know, that's a long time, 400 years of experience. Okay, let's jump into it. To get to the point, I don't think it's going to have much of an impact in terms of a demand. If you set yourself up properly as a developer, and especially if you have just a little bit of experience, you should be fine. Yes, some people will get laid off, but they'll be able to find jobs pretty quickly. It will be like a reshuffling of a developer deck. So don't worry about it if you have some skill. So I'm pretty confident of this prediction, again, because I've been doing this stuff since 94, so I've seen this boom and bust cycle in the development game. And uh, I know that, again, if you have any decent level of skill, that's both technical skill, coding skill, and of course, uh, interpersonal skills. If you have those skills, you should be fine. Already, as anecdotes, I spoke to three people just in the last 24 hours who, number one, somebody from my mentoring group, they, uh, with no college degree, no prior background coding, were able to land just recently their first job as a developer, pretty good salary. They increased their own salary from their previous job by quite a bit. Uh, another person I know, she only has uh, a year and a half of experience, and uh, not only do they want to keep her in the job, they raised her pay by quite a bit, pretty big jump, because they're desperate for good developers. And number three, somebody else in my mentoring group, he got another gig as a freelance uh, web developer. Nice little contract, pretty good money. And uh, believe me, this guy, he's like refused a whole bunch this year. So there's plenty of opportunity if you know what you're doing and you present yourself well, you'll be fine. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Again, yes, some people will get laid off, but they'll quickly find jobs in other companies. Uh, yeah, they'll quickly find jobs in other companies if they're confident. Now, if you look at Twitter, for example, you hear about all these huge number of layoffs. The vast majority, as far as I understand, were not developers. They were the hallway monitors, middle management, that kind of that kind of stuff. This is typical, by the way. In uh, any recessions, it's the middle management whoosh, that gets thrown out, the dead wood. Uh, it's typical, and I've spoken about this in another video recently. It's typical in layoffs, companies are forced to uh, streamline. It's normal. When a company is building up quickly, it's like when you start making a lot of money, you start buying all kinds of junk, and next thing you know, you got all kinds of junk, junk in your closets and you got uh, multiple cars and multiple houses. And you're like, what am I doing with all this junk? And at some point, you, you'll do that. And then you go, okay, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to clean that, clean this, clean that. So it's normal. So the key to 2023 as a web developer is to not be junk, to not be the clutter. Be the dependable, the agreeable, and the competent developer, and you'll be fine. My name is Steph. If you want to be mentored by somebody who's been coding since 1994, check out the link below, unclesteph.com. I'll get you up and running pretty damn quick. Thank you.